guys, here's John Mander today with a new video about seamless hoppers. So this is the same design uh, as last time, but uh, I just don't have the uh, the hopper on top. So as you can see, it's fully working. So as you can see, same chest as last time. So yeah, uh, I was looking at uh, the comments in my last video, and someone told me that you could actually use the, this without the hopper on top and also that it wasn't working 100% of the time so it was right and I did a little bit of testing and found out how it was working so as you can see if I throw any pearl all around this I'm not gonna take it but if I throw in here it will work so what I found is that only one a quarter of this block, one quarter of this block, one quarter of this block, and one quarter of this block is picking the block into the hopper minecart. As you can see, so it's really it's really strange, but it's actually working like this. So yeah, you actually don't need these redstone blocks. It could be totally flat and seamless, but it was only for me to know where it was. So this is about this thing, really cool. Um, now uh, the second design, it's the same thing but in a wall, on a wall. So actually I'm gonna throw a block on it, nothing happens. And I'm gonna try with Ender Key. As you saw, uh, it just dispensed me uh, another Ender Key. So this is the rest of level under it uh, it's really small so first here I have uh, my card hopper in the wall with a detector rail so it's actually on top so this comparator is looking at the number of items so there are five under pearls so it's only one dust but when it came to six it's in the power in both these uh, repeaters so first it goes in this one, so it's one ticks. Uh, it's gonna go here to this torch. It's gonna turn it off. Then, as you can see over here, we have a hopper. So this is gonna. Uh, so the the mark card uh, hopper is on top of this hopper, so it's gonna suck it, and then this will come back to normal, and it's gonna only take one. The same concept as over here. And now I can place any block inside of this. Oh, yeah, I can. So, yeah. And then it's gonna go into this dropper and also work with the dispenser. Uh, because this hopper is pointing at this hopper, a uh, dropper. So, one tick later, or at the same moment because of the torch, one's gonna go in it, it's gonna dispense it, and give it you back. So, as you can see right over here so I think this is pretty cool because actually you get your key back immediately so I really like this and you can also take your input from here or here so you can attach this to this secret um, hole so it's working the same just a little bit smaller so now I'm going to show you how to build this. So first, uh, break 12 block, one under your uh, your ground level, like this, 3 by 4 And then place hopper or dispenser over here. Then shift click on the side of this dropper, your hopper, so it point at it. Then a block over here, rest on torch, has slab on top, like that. Um, uh, place a block over here. Return two ticks, return one tick, trace on dust, block here. Now you can place your wall on top of it. Place a block over here. Now two rails like that. Take your card, I'll place it on this rail. So it's gonna go smoothly into the wall. Destroy this and place it back like that. Now we can destroy this. Place a block over here. A comparator over here, and actually, I just push this. 
can place it back. So now place five ender key over here and another one. And now it's perfect. And you actually need to add another one because it's gonna go in the to the hopper. And as you saw, nothing was launched. But now because you have one into the hopper, each time you will drop one, it will work. So you need just to put one at the beginning so it will work after. So yeah, now you can build your wall on top and it's fully working. Before I end this video, I just want to say that if you want to place a card into a block, it's easier if you're facing east or west. Um, I'm gonna sh show you why. So as you see, I'm gonna use my little trick to put it, put it in here. And as you see, just align it's perfect but let's say I do this again but in north or south direction so look at this it's actually turning like that and it will do it every time so then you have to push it and I see it work but it's easier in the other side and also a bug I found just just want to show you this so maybe it can be fixed because it's really annoying so let's say um, I feel all this sh this thing so as you can see it's filled up and then if I place a block uh, a stack of a block and as you can see there's absolutely no place and look at this 64 no place one what the fuck this is really annoying if you want to make things automatic and it will just each time it will just take all your blocks and put one instead so it will be really cool to fix this so that's all for today's video so I hope you enjoyed and see you next time It's easier to, to put it when you're facing east or west, uh, west, west, well, wow, seriously? <laughs>